Hello everyone, I have a partial update here on the Kimburn Spit. Now, we still don't know what exactly is happening there, or the aims of the amphibious operation. But I have seen talk that Russian forces have pulled back to defensive positions slightly to the east. These positions are shown in these satellite images, shared today by NL Tracker on Twitter. These are east of the Spit taken on October the 29th and show the construction of a network of defensive trenches in the area. These have been built alongside a rough dirt road. You can get some idea of the terrain here from the satellite image. It looks very marshy, but we can see trenches and other defensive lines built along a small dirt road to the north, along a dirt road leading north to south, and also along the south. This is a quite a long and substantial trench, which we will see here on Google Maps. It extends from the northern dirt road all the way to the south across the spit, a distance of about 3 kilometres as seen here. Now, just to show that the locations are the same, here are the images next to each other. So you can see the sad face in both images, plus the three ponds to the south. Before we have a look at where exactly this is, I have a second satellite image to go through. This one here is zoomed on on the northern section of Russia's defensive line. It's a zigzagged, jagged trench heading from east to west. You can see eight dug-in emplacements. These very possibly look like they could be for artillery howitzers, or maybe even mortars. The position would have them facing in the direction of Miko Alayev, and also the waterway, so this would allow Russia to target not just Mykolaiv itself, but also any ships and water traffic heading into Mykolaiv. Here it is zoomed out, so you can see the defensive position basically cuts off the Kimburn spit from the rest of Ukraine. So surprisingly, Russia has actually anticipated some sort of amphibious landing on the spit and prepared for it in advance. Finally, we have this video too, showing a bunch of those concrete pillboxes on trucks. These were reported to be heading towards the Kimburn spit. I couldn't see these in the satellite image. They may just not have been clear enough to show up, but if they weren't there when the satellite image was taken, then they are likely there now. So Russia has built a fairly lengthy emplacement here, complete with dug-in positions likely for howitzers or mortars, and trenches covering the north, the south and the western approaches. What we can't tell is the size of the Russian forces there, nor what they are armed with. But like I mentioned earlier, this trench network is 3 kilometers long, it's pretty sizable, so there could be a significant number of troops positioned there. The uploader said that Russians on the spit itself, towards the west, fled to this position. And needless to say, this position is vulnerable. Here on Deep States, I've added a range circle for the M777's bog standard M107 round. As you can see, it's well within range. So I expect this defensive line is going to get a pretty good roger in from the howitzers across the Dnipro estuary. So that's it for this video. I thought it worth taking a look at. I thought it was interesting to see satellite images of the defensive positions around the Kimburn spit. If you found it interesting, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everybody.